Hey guys, what's going on? Memes here. So, apparently there's a hubbub about uh, some of Facebook's uh, changes to its uh, community standards here and everything. And uh, I heard some words from uh, Mr. Paul Joseph Watson, uh, Mr. Computing Forever, and after listening to those videos, and uh, Mr. Uh, excuse me, Miss Maddie as well, uh, I, <laughs> I earlier this morning after hearing the first couple of videos, I... I did the whole Facebook thing and saying, so what you're saying is if somebody is demonized in the media, it's, it's okay to uh, to threaten their life, which is a blatant vi violation of uh, freedom of speech as it's defined as that's an incitement to violence, as well as uh, the Malicious Communications Act, I believe it's uh, the 2003 part of the Communications Code. So uh, that's over there in the UK. I could be wrong, and again, this is op-ed. This is my opinion. So, uh, yeah, I, I asked Mr. Zuckerberg uh, about that, and by the time I got home this afternoon, uh, Miss Maddie's video updated me that uh, there's been recent updates since then. So, uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go through this as well, because I, I find it to be very interesting. I am actually quite happy that Mr. Zuckerberg uh, did acquiesce to some modification to the uh, new terms of terms of service, or excuse me, the community guidelines in this respect. Uh, so you know what, hey, good for them. Absolutely, power to Facebook. So, as they say right here, the language we previously used to describe our policies against violence and incitement was imprecise. We have since replaced it to be more, to be more clear, replaced it to more clearly explain the policy and underlying rationale. It's all right. That was a that was a user error there. So policy rationale. We aim to prevent potential offline harm that may be related to content on Facebook. While we understand that people commonly express disdain or disagreement by threatening or calling for violence in a non in non serious ways, we remove language that incites or facilitates serious violence. We remove content, disable accounts, and work with law enforcement when we believe there is genuine risk of physical harm or direct threats to public safety. We also try to consider the language and context in order to distinguish casual statements from content that constitutes a credible threat to public or personal safety. In determining whether a threat is credible, we may also consider additional information like a person's public visibility and vulnerability. In some cases, we see aspirational or conditional threats directed at terrorists and other violent actors, example, terrorists deserve to be killed, and we deem those non-credible absent specific evidence to the contrary. As you can see here, do not post. Threats that could lead to death and other forms of high severity violence of any targets where their threat is defined as any of the following. Statements of intent to commit high severity violence or calls for high severity violence. As you can see here, we get to the point where they crossed it out because Anytime you have a policy, and then you say, unless the target is an organization or individual covered in the dangerous individuals and organization's policy, or is described as having carried out violent crimes or sexual offenses wherein criminal slash predator status has been established by media reports, market knowledge of news event, etc. And, and that's essentially the thing there, because essentially if Facebook deemed such individuals as Minister Farrakhan, Alex Jones, Paul Joseph Watson, Laura Loomer, and there was another gentleman that I, I, I don't even really know. Apparently a lot of folks were calling him a, uh, a very not-so-nice person. I, I, I could really care less. I don't really know who it is. But essentially, you have a bunch of individuals that were deemed by a multi-billion dollar corporation as, as violent or dangerous actors. So essentially... With the previous policy before it was amended, you could literally threaten or incite violence against them, which is like <laughs> how that ever got by illegal. I think I think somebody may have hit publish before uh, somebody may have taken a look at it. Hey, I gotta I, I I gotta earn benevolence. If I'm gonna think most folks are good people, it is what it is. Uh, but as you can see, that's that's essentially the crux of it because it essentially was even worse in that it it didn't even necessarily need to be proven because if you're going by media reports it, that's literally the court of public opinion if it said maybe convict us of crime and there's no chance because they're locked away i mean even still man 
you, you, you can't do that. It's like, yes, I believe in freedom of speech. But my big thing right here is we have established where the boundaries are. Where do our rights end? Our rights end where another person's rights begin. And if we're going to incent, incite physical violence upon an individual, even if we hate that individual, we despise them, we think they're scum, we can't do it. That's what the Supreme Court has ruled. Again, this is my opinion, based upon the opinion of the United States Supreme Court. If I get any of this wrong, happy to be corrected below. I'm sure MC is kind of watching something to to blast me with something no rocks but my big thing with this is as you can see if something was reported especially if it was reported wrong what happens if those Covington kids and stuff people viewed them as violent actors or something or somebody is mischarged I'll be straight up hey I live in the greater Boston area when we had the Boston bombing it's a number of years back now. Jeez. It actually isn't all that long. But when that did happen, an initial photo came out that was circulating that was not an official release of suspects. The individuals that were initially released that was going around, it was wrong. It was wrong. And something like that, if somebody did notice them, that rather than getting law enforcement involved, that could have incited the crowd. So I'm just giving a personal example. So again, good on Facebook for striking this down, for realizing that they they made an oopsie. This is a pretty damn big oopsie here. They quickly changed it. And as we can see, basically as you go through here, they strike that out several times. Uh, and they have different levels. See, serious to mid-severity uh, violence as well. Uh, yeah, basically, can't hire assassin. D -d Duh, it's, it's fun to break in the law. So, because uh, you're trying to commit a crime, commit acts of violence here. As you can see, they, they had that as a conditional statement in there so many times. And then you just keep on going through there. They're talking about other threats. Uh, uh, basically, don't, don't out somebody from any type of vulnerable group as well. Uh, basically, don't use symbolism to basically incite violence anywhere, especially if you're sitting there posing with a fire. And listen, if you're at the range or something, or you're training somebody how to clean the barrel or something, they're pretty explicit in there that, yeah, that's something you can share. That's fine because that's educational and it actually has a purpose there as well. Yeah, as you can see there, how to make or use weapons, uh, Unless the aforementioned continent shares part of recreational self-defense for military training purposes, commercial video games, or news coverage posted by page with a news load. So basically, if you're covering it, then you can actually show that as well because it's related to said story. You, you know what this seems to be? Again, is it perfect? No, nobody's freaking perfect. But you know what? They're trying. They're actively updating. As you can see, they go through here, providing instructions on how to make explosives. Unless there is clear context that the content is for a nonviolent purpose, for example, as part of commercial video games, clear scientific educational purposes, fireworks, or specifically for fishing. For fishing. Providing instructions on how to make or use explosives. Unless there is clear context for that content is for a non-violent purpose. For example, part of commercial video games, clear scientific slash educational purpose, fireworks, or specifically for fishing. One of these things does not sound like the other. To be fair, I have heard and likely do know individuals that have told me of stories where they have gone fishing with explosives. There is historical context for this, but that gives me the opportunity to name this video Blowing Up Nemo? Question mark? Oh, I'm gonna get a strike. Well, that's it, guys. I just wanted to update you guys on uh, my thoughts for the uh, the Facebook situation. Peace out, everybody. Not sugary like sweet snacks.
Goldfish, it's one snack that's okay to get hooked on.